Hi all, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this spiral spring. Let's start together. I will open new part. And in top plane, I will create a sketch. And I place here a 30 millimeter. Circle. We close this. We go. Select helix and spiral. Defined by spiral, pitch 5. Revolution 6, starting angle, according to my screen, I will make 90. So, we get something like this. It looks nice. And now sketch under 3D sketch. So we will convert this guy to a 3D sketch. We hide the original spiral. Then here, I will define two line. and make them equal. We can give a height of 10. They are looking good. So now I will define the transition location because we need to provide a smooth transition. And uh, how I'm going to do that? Here we click right, sketch tools, split entities. This one, say yes. This one, say yes. This one say yes, and this one. So what we do here, we simply break our uh, items into the piece, pieces. So these areas are construction geometries, and the others are just normal lines. So this is five. This handsome guy equal. So how I did that? I press Control, and I select the object. So we got here some undefined object, we need to define here one more time. So then, uh, dimension, you can get dimension here, or you press your right mouse button and move your mouse, you can get this menu, opening menu, while it's pressed, and you can define dimensions like that as well, if you don't want to do so much effort each time picking object from here. So, it looks good. What we got now, something like this. Now we can place here splines, simply from this point to this point, and then we will define them. We select two object, control is pressed, tangency, here control press, tangency, here we are going to give equal curvature, here we are going to give equal Curvature. Okay, it looks good. We can define here some curvature values and tangency values, but I will not play with them. We say OK, and this is defined. So at the end, we get a sketch, and SolidWorks says some things. It assigned here some tangency, I see, it shouldn't be here. So remove them, and then uh, that's uh, alarm will go. It says sketch is overdefined. Not going to kill you, but uh, it's not nice to have. So, after this operation, we can go to swap, circular profile, and say it is here too, and select your 3D sketch. And then what we get? This nice tube. Yes, it looks nice. It was simple, I hope. And there was other alternative uh, ways of dealing with kind of transitions, but uh, this is now the thing that it came my mind immediately. I wanted to use. Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the like button and see you in another video.